It's your girl, Mom Cat. Welcome back. Hey YouTube, it's your girl, Mama Kathy. It's your girl, Mama Kathy. Coming to you today on a Sunday with another little cooking video. Yes, we are having us some large size lamb beans with some smoked turkey pieces. We are having us a pork loin. And we are having us some rice and some cornbread. And we're having us some type of green beans. That's what we gonna have, green beans. Cause I was wondering what type of green food Mama Kathy was gonna cook today. So I'm gonna cook some green beans. So, cause I got some green seasons in the cabinet. Yeah, we about to smash. Yes, we are, you understand? Yesterday, I've been gone all week. I've been exhausted, I've been tired, but I still been trying to get y'all a little content here and there. So y'all gonna think something's wrong with your girl, Mama Kathy. I told y'all that I was buying a new refrigerator and stove that I was going to have it delivered. And da da! Y'all see, I always run this stainless steel. And I got it. It's beautiful and I love it. And this refrigerator is to die for. I am in love with it. But anyway, this right here is. Um, I think it's called an infrared. Infrared? How do you say it? Infrared. I, I'm not sure how you say it, but anyway, I better get this shit out of here before I um, get to cooking. Turn this oven on. And then forget that I got this stuff up inside of this oven because it came in last night. Thanks to my son in law. Um, what is M K H Liquidation and Sun Plus? Yeah. What's the address? Okay, so here's my stove. Forgot I had all this stuff still inside of there. I love this stove. It is so nice. It has um, five burners on top. The one in the middle is a warmer. So you just put your food on there and just keep it warm. I am in love with it. I got this. I got the hood. I have the refrigerator. I'm going to show you guys the refrigerator before I do the cooking video. I just wanted to let you guys see what Mama Kathy got because she's excited because I always, always, ever, always had white, you know, and I guess I was just so used to bad white that I never even gave it a second thought about buying um, this right here, but I did and I'm happy. And so I got to get all this stuff out here. I think it's, um, I was trying to say the name of it, I'm going to look at this book. Um, they was both made by Samsung. Pretty expensive, but worth it. Um, but by it being um, a wholesale, um, they have brand new stuff. They have stuff that's scratch and dent. Um, and you can get um, you can get uh, really amazing deals. The name of it is MKH Liquidation and Surplus. The address is 1139-309-1309 Franklin Boulevard, Cleveland, Ohio. If you're in the Cleveland area, go up there and check it out. They have everything up there. Patio says they have um, furniture. They have the washer and dryer, the stackables. They have the refrigerators, the stoves. They have everything that you need to remodel a house and anything and everything you need to furnish it because they have a contract with Ashley Furniture. I think I told you guys before. They have, um, they have, uh, they, they just have contracts with a couple different places. And if you don't have the money right now, they have this program. It's called the Cena. And I'm sure a SEMA, and I'm sure a lot of you guys probably heard of it. It's, it's like a leasing type of program or something. Uh, and I know that. Uh, okay, can you stop with the knife? Like, um, I'm trying to get I'll this get off of up. here. This, you, but just give me, just put it down, please. Here, okay. He's gonna help me, guys. But anyway, the show is a Samsung electric range, and. Um, 
I was trying to see if it's uh I don't know if, if I'm saying it right, but in frayed in frayed or something. I'm trying to look. But anyway, it's lovely. And then I'm gonna show you guys the refrigerator. And then I'm going to um <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys the refrigerator and then we're going to get on with this cooking video, okay? Because this is already coming up on 10 minutes uh, long by the time I show you guys the refrigerator and everything. And so anyway, if y'all need some stuff, come on up there. And if you're in the Cleveland area, my white refrigerator installed, looking really brand new again. Okay, it's not brand new, but it's looking brand new and I'm selling them both together for $500. So if you're in the Cleveland area, you're looking for an electric stove and a nice refrigerator that's very clean inside and out, hey, hit Mama Kathy up, okay? Just leave me a message. Leave me a message on um, one of my videos. That way y'all always get the notification. So, anyway, so that's that. So, I'm How going to... just put that shelf in it? The, the way that it came out. I was trying to see what, what part you put it on. Because yeah. you be having yours too high up. Well, I don't know. You can check that out in a minute. She bobs me up. But anyway, let me show y'all this refrigerator. And then, we'll get into the cooking video, okay? How about that? This is the refrigerator. And I'm in love with it. So anyway, how do okay, so on here, when you first turn it on, it tells you the degrees that's outside. This is the apps. I don't know, every time I touch them, oh there it is. I think I be touching it too hard, is what I think. These are the apps that's on the refrigerator. Um, how do you look in the refrigerator to see what's in here before without opening the door? Do you know? Or a smart view. What the heck? I don't know. It's got something. You can mirror the screen. To my bedroom? Expensive. I'm learning, y'all, because it has, like, a dent here and a dent here. They, like I said, um... That wasn't there when it was in the warehouse, so it must have happened when they were bringing it in the house. So, but like I said, they do have like scratching dents and all that. We're not going to worry about that part of it right now. I'm just going to show you guys the inside. Don't pay any attention to the inside of my refrigerator, but I just wanted to show y'all how much space it is in here. It's a lot of space. That's the one door and that's the other door. And then we have the down here, and then we have the two drawers here, there right there. And then we have another drawer down there. And so that's the refrigerator, and I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. It's so big. Oh, and this shows you what's in the refrigerator. It said, please add some food inside your fridge. <laughs> it said, oh, look what it said. It says, please add some food inside your refrigerator. There we are. So now we see what's inside Mama Kathy's refrigerator without even opening up the door. Okay, so this is this is the um, freezer. So this is the freezer part here. These are my little meals that I get every week on a Thursday for my meals. And they give me those. And then this is the bottom part of the freezer. So it's like two parts um, to the freezer. So it's like really nice and i love it okay and then i'll show you my baby over there she's over there eating her food Nana. she's mad at me look and i even got the ice the ice maker and i always had a water line over here so i contacted my landlord and i asked him could he send somebody over here to fix my water line and we had never used it since we've been here since 2012. And I just think I want a new water line because I don't want old water coming through my filtration Wait, system. But anyway, so, all right, y'all. Y'all seen the refrigerator. Y'all seen the stove. 
and it matches. Everything is matchy, matchy. Oh, and look at my, my crock pot matchy and my microwave is matchy, matchy. All right, y'all, let me get on my butt all back over here and get this video all right, done. So we are back. I am going to show y'all we are having large size lima beans. They already been cleaned and everything. So I'm going to dump them into here, which is already been messed out. And I didn't realize that lima beans were so, um, they, they were so big and I didn't realize that you wouldn't get as many beans in the pack. So I went on here and added a pack, a pound of small lima beans, okay? So anyway, I'm about to get these turkey pieces rinsed off. And, and then um, they we're gonna go ahead and season. We're, I mean, we're gonna, I'm just re-rinsing these, these turkey pieces up. And then we're going to, um, season this and then you know i paid $10 for one smoked turkey wing I'm like you know what that is freaking ridiculous I mean ridiculous these prices and then my daughter went to Sam's Club yesterday they were out of water telling you and then somebody was saying that China was on lockdown again and I'm not sure if they are or they're not, but um, we shall see, I guess. All right, so I got that in there and I'm going to be adding, and I'm going to be adding some um, green peppers to there. I am going to be adding um, some onions to there. Okay, so we got that over there. Turn this water off. Take this glove back off. Throw all this stuff that came out of there. I got some um, some Goya. It's beef bouillon. I'm going to put this inside of my lima beans. Okay. Do they make pork one? I don't know if they make pork one or not. I don't eat, I, oh, I think they do, and I think they make turkey, too. I should have bought some when I was at the store yesterday. <laughs> My crazy but Okay, and put some black pepper in here. You said put everything in there, even the wrapper. I'm going to put the, yeah, even the wrapper fell in. Put everything in there and the kitchen sink. I need to make sure I put this where. And then I'm going to put the red Goya in there. These beans are going to be so good. I can't wait to taste them and eat them. Yeah, the big ones. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, because then you really get the really... It's going to be like like a type of soup or something. I'm fine with that. Yeah, Alasia, she loves... She loves, loves, loves soup. And okay, we got to get some, some garlic powder in here. Yeah, soup is my favorite food. And you then should we're going to get us, soup again. Um, this other yellow Goya. And then... I am going to take out the pan. <laughs> I'm going to take out the pan, y'all. I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to put the water in. And then we're going to put this sucker on. We're going to put this sucker on. Put this sucker on for an hour. It's going to be in the pressure cooker. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this pork loin. Let me see. Um, Alright, so you can only have that up so high because it, it will run over and boil and burn the shit out of you. Yep, y'all looking at Mama Kathy in her natural state. I have no makeup on. I have nothing. Here come my baby boy coming to mess with me on camera. Stay tuned, because one day he ain't going to know it, but I'm going to prank his ass. Got to prank my baby boy. She going to prank Elijah. Y'all say a prayer for him. He, he messed up his back at work. Yeah. So he ain't been able to work for two days. And he need to go to work because he need the money. Because you know, I need some rent money. Okay? No, I'm just playing. He don't pay me no rent money. Don't forget my birthday coming up real fast, y'all. 
get them dollars together so I can pin them dollars on me. Make sure I can. Uncle Daniel bothering me because he know he irritated me already. You know he irritated you already, so he want to bother me some more? Yes, he want to bother me. Okay, Adage, I need you to come over here and take this and... I'm not tasting it. It's not done. I do not want you to taste it. I want you to pick it up and put it in there for me. It's not good. Thank I'm you, like Lori. Ow! She cut the shit. She was washing. No, my wrist. No, but I'm telling them she was washing my cutter that I chop up my stuff with. Y'all know how many times I done cut myself on that bull crap, right? Yeah, I got two band-aids on okay, there. She, yeah, she got two band-aids on there. What you say, Gina? I'm done. You done? That I'm was done. Gina. Y'all remember Gina? You want a donut, Gina? Gina. No. <laughs> Gina is the one who comes over every two weeks to do Casper, and plus she just comes over and sees us. You know, because, you know, they're friends of ours. Nope, that's it. Oh. Make sure that you give him... He, he already had his treat for being a good boy. And she brought... Let me see that. These are so adorable. She brought him treats. Look, y'all. Donut cookies for dogs. How many of y'all give y'all dogs donut cookies and treats like this? He that feel like he a in heaven. YouTube prank. <laughs> oh, that could be a good YouTube prank. I'd be mean, like... Now, you want a cookie? You ask my son, baby, you want a cookie? And give him no, a cookie. Cookies, you know how they have them at Petco? Yeah, I used to, like, I ate some before because they always used to be but brown. But anyway, but they taste like regular cookies. Let me put this yeah. over here. Let me show you guys. Like real cupcakes, too. Let me show you guys the, yeah, um, the pork loin. <laughs> okay, be like, hey, so I'm this is the pork loin, and it's pretty big. And I'm not cutting this fat off of it because I like to leave the fat on there. Um, plus, I, it's just a really good cut of meat. And I just really just don't want to, to do that. So I'm getting ready to... Um, and also I got some... Um, I also have some Western style ribs in here. That's going to go in the oven with this. Um, Malaysia, can you give me one of those silver pans? They somewhere in there when we took everything out the kitchen yesterday. My house is a holy shit hill, y'all. Um, excuse you? My house is a holy shit hill. You I know, I've been trying to calm my damn ass down with this cussing and stuff. I'm trying to get an island. Yeah, you do not need no island. I was going to take the kitchen table set and I was going to either give it away or sell it. On, on marketplace and I was going to get a fold away um, I don't know where your silver trays is but um we oh have, I think they might be on top of this refrigerator oh there's an island at my house but we got chairs on us yeah I know but um what I wanted to do was buy like I a fold I can't foldable. get nothing out of there I, oh yeah I see them up there I think I might be a little taller than you so I probably no you're actually a little bit shorter than me. I am not 4'11", baby. I am 5'. What you trying to say? That I'm short? Yes, she's short. 4'11 is short, right, guys? No. Don't be hating on my height because y'all can't be my height. You just need one. Yeah, I just need one. You still got your cereal up here. Yeah, you can put it up. I, I like to eat it plain. I don't like it with milk. I know. I'm just saying, you never ate it. No, you ate all the babies. How did I eat all of it? I was tearing that cereal. Though. That Cheerio, that strawberry Cheerio, y'all, that stuff is good. It's limited edition. When That's I was limited edition. Yeah, a cup. You know, like years ago, when um the whole fire at your house. Was yeah. Um. I used to, like, when we used to go grocery shopping, I always used to get banana Cheerios. No, did you? Mm -hmm. That was like, my favorite Cheerio. They discontinued it, though. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I'm going to um, put the, well, you know what? I'm actually going to, um, since I already rinsed this, I'm just going to rinse it off a little bit more. And then I'm going to um, season it in the sink like I always do. And then I'm going to put it in the pan, and then I'm going to 
put it in the oven, so I think I should find out how to work my oven. That's what I think I need to find out how to do. Okay, so, gotta put the seasonings on here, and then when I get them putting the seasonings on, then I'll be back, okay? Okay, YouTube, I am back. Um, it was a spider that was stalking me in my kitchen. It started off over there when I was over there cutting up the vegetables. And then as I moved across the kitchen, it followed me that way. And then I moved over here and it followed me this way. And I said, ladies, you go get Papa so he could kill this damn spider for me. But you know what, guys? I just want to say one more thing before we really get to this cooking video. This refrigerator, I discover, is going to drive me nuts because you tap it with your finger so it's always spots on the refrigerator i wish it was a remote and i wouldn't have to keep seeing finger spots on the damn tv part of the refrigerator but i think it's so fucking neat that you actually could watch tv in here but not while i'm doing a cooking video because i get copyrighted so anyway that's that but anyway come on over here let me show you guys what I did. All right, so I seen that the meat. We got five Western style ribs over there. And we got the pork loin right here. It's all seasoned up with some really good seasoning. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add some, oh, I got turkey, chicken, and I got beef. So I'm gonna use beef. I'm gonna use turk, chicken, broth. I'm going to use chicken broth in there. And I happen to have some open already. And I don't need a lot because I'm going to use water. I just want some in here. Can you get copyrighted if you mention a song creator? You can't get copyrighted if you mention it, but if I'm playing the music, you can. No, I'm saying, like, if you play the music and then you just, like, put their name down, like... I don't know. I just don't want to take a chance because, you know, cooking takes a long time, okay? And I don't want to be cooking and then can't get, you know, I don't get the, um, the views for it. Let me grab me some thing to drink, which is some... Is real. The oven is preheating. That's an oven. It's preheating. Yesterday, my legs were so swollen. And today, they are so swollen. Look how small Mama Kathy is. Ooh, she's sexy. Sexy in her little print. I'm just trying to wait for this oven to do its thing and then I'm gonna do my thing I'm gonna put some aluminum foil on top of this put it in the oven add a little water to it put these onions and these bell peppers inside of there and when it come out the shit gonna be banging I can't wait to get some cause it's gonna be tender tender enough that it's gonna be falling apart that's how I want it that's why I wanna be that fat on there cause I like to eat the fat now, some people don't like fat Mama Kathy like fat. My husband can't stand fat. So like if he's eating, if we're eating steak, which I rarely eat anymore, he always will give me his, um, the fat. I will ask for his fat and he has around his steak. But like I said, I don't really eat it too much. I don't really eat meat that often. I'd rather just have like the side dishes or something. Like last night, um, I cooked shrimp. I cut up some garlic, chopped up some garlic, put a little bit of butter in a pan, took the cooked shrimp, cooked it. It's too tired to take the tails off, so I figured whoever eats it, they can take the shit off they stuff. It was only a small bag, so it had like 30 pieces of shrimp in there, the small ones. And I cooked that, and um, Alasia wound up eating the pepper steak and rice that we had the day before. Which, that video will be coming to you guys really soon. YouTube is doing something different where, you know how I used to could just put your videos up or whatever? 
Well, now they make you put it on private and then they notify you when you can release it. And I just think that's full of shit. Okay, because that's just taking up a lot of time. Because if they had to release the video, then I could have released Cooking Sunday Dinner video today. You understand? So, I don't know what YouTube is doing. But, like I told y'all, in that video, my first paycheck was $222. And I'm proud of it. I'm going to put it in my little bank. In my little, you know, I got a little bank in my room. I'm going to put it in there. Yes, I am. So... Got a little bit ways to go for this oven to heat up. But anyway, y'all see what it look like. Y'all see what it hit for. Right there. It looks pretty damn good to me. It's going to taste even better. Okay? So, anyway, I love you guys out there on YouTube. And I love the fact that y'all rock with Mama Kathy no matter what. I don't care if I get 100 views, 200 views. I just appreciate you guys taking your time to rock with me. And I also want to give a couple shout outs while I'm at it. I want to shout out Lena Wales. That's my girl. Um, I also want to shout out Life with Jennifer. That's my girl and my moderator. Um, I want to um, shout out Danielle, 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 Danielle. If you do not let me get this baby some of this boost, okay, okay. I'm going to have to drive down there to Michigan and have to put them hands on you, girl. Just joking. Uh, also, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful black queen, Anita. I miss you, girl. Even though we talk on text, I want a real phone conversation with you, okay? Catch up on some things, you know? See how you really doing and everything. So I got to do that. And then, um, Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. You are a diehard, a diehard. And then I'm going to give a shout out to one last person. And that is, uh, Aquisha Chloe, Okay. Akeisha, Chloe, got your shout out, okay? I hope you are feeling better when you wanted me to call you. I'm sorry, I was exhausted. Um, yesterday, I made my famous chicken breast salad. It was amazing. It was good. We paired it with potato chips like we did before. And I took it to the warehouse. And I took everybody their lunch. And the day before, I took everybody their pepper steak. So... They was like chopping down. You understand? It's like, what? See, this is what I like. I like auntie coming up here to the shop because she bring food. So I told Beth, I said, Beth, I said, where your food at? Because I see her eating some of it to feed the baby son. She said it's in the microwave. And I said, oh, you ain't going to eat it. It's going to go away. She was like, hmm. She warmed that stuff up and ate every bit of it right in my face. She told me the only ingredient that it was missing was a piece of bread. And I said, a piece of bread? What? Pepper steak? She's like, yep. I just needed one piece of bread. I said, girl, you is just too silly for me. But anyway, y'all, I talked to y'all enough. I am getting ready to get this in the oven, this pork roast in the oven. And then I am, um, this should be getting ready soon because it's hot to the touch. And I'm going to get my green beans i'm going to get my cornbread ready and i'm going to get my white rice that's the only thing i could think to pair with this because of the beans so that's what we're gonna do okay if you could tell me what else i could cook when i'm making beans besides i, I mean a carbohydrate tell me what else i can make because i'm stuck with rice and i'm sick of rice and last night, I made the shrimp, and I couldn't eat it, so I gave to my grandbaby, Amasia. I think she's spending the summer with me, which is cool. She sleeps in my room, so if Mama Kathy wanted to get it on, get it on. Get it on, get it on. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it like it's hot. I couldn't do that because the little baby. And you shouldn't have said that sleeps in my room and she gonna tell me i shouldn't say that i'm it's gross baby i'm about to be 56 
and baby. I'm not no little baby talking about getting on, getting on. I can't help it if you don't get no boyfriend and you can't get it on. No, I'm just joking. No, she don't need to get it on. She need to keep them legs closed and like this. Locked. Put a lock on it. Put it up. Put it up to the key. Give me the key. I'm not giving you no <laughs> key. All right, y'all. I'll be back when I'm getting ready to put something else on the stove. I'll be back, y'all. All right, YouTube. The girl, Mama Kathy, is back. Let me get some gloves. My husband washed these for me. He said he's so sweet. Because I have been using them a lot. So he washed them for me, and I appreciate that. Okay, so it's been an hour. And I got the water on for the rice. I'm going to next make the green beans. I got the pan out for the mac, um, for the cornbread. So we got cornbread, beans. Well, we got the beans over here, which we'll be done in four minutes. And then we have the rice and the green beans. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Sounds like a meal to me. And the pork loin in the oven with the rest of the style ribs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out. Make sure this is steady because, you know, like, y'all all know it's a new stove. So, Mama Kathy is getting familiarized with it. Okay, so what I'm looking for is a humongous fork. Found one. Okay, so now I am going to take the aluminum foil off of here. I should have did it away from the oven. That's what I should have did, but. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at this. Look like I'm cooking some type of, um, let me see that y'all, get over here. Look at that. In that oven down there. You got it? It's really yeah, good. it's really good. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, it's only been in here for an hour, so we already know that's not going to be done. Okay? Oh, yeah. Already. <laughs> already messing up the new stove. All right, y'all. So we already know that this is not going to be done. I just wanted to make sure I come in here and flip it over in an hour that's what i wanted to do and um and to test it out you understand so i'll let you guys see hold on mama kathy gonna get out your way and let y'all see what it looked like um got one more in here i gotta find it's over here some of those on where i feel it but oh here it is it's completely in surged in the water so i really didn't even have to turn that one over and it's trying to fall off the bone but it's still tough okay and then we have this so we have to I want to flip get over here I want to flip this gigantic pork steak over here see that I really would love to just take it out the oven I'm, I'm, I'm going to think about that for a second. To show your camera? I'm trying to think if I should take it out the oven and slice it. Oh, now? Yeah, slice it before it gets done so it don't be tearing apart when I go to do that. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay. All right, YouTube. I have decided that I am going to take the pork shoulder out and I'm going to put it on top of you need help here just so I can just have somewhere to sit it oh that makes a lot of sense and then I'm going to cut it and slice it okay because I think it'd be better while it's still like this to cut it in slices then that way when it's Look at that. Can you see this, guys? See how that is? And it smells amazing. I had the baby taste the juice of it. 
and she said it was pretty damn good so so i'm just gonna put this back in i think i wanted to cook for another hour the beans are done so i'm gonna go ahead and let the let the steam off so i can check those babies out Now, if this was a steak, this would be medium well. If this was a steak, it would be medium well. But I think you better cook pork all the way through. I'm not gonna have y'all on here where it take me to cut all that. It probably take me about 10 minutes to cut this. So I'll be back in a second after all this noise stops and we cut this up. Um, hey YouTube, okay, I'm back. I have all the meat cut up. And as you can see, it is not done. And you want your, cork, <laughs> your pork cooked thoroughly. What I did with this was I added a half a cup of flour and I mixed it in. So we can have like a gravy. And now I'm just going to put the meat inside of here. And then I'm going to, not gonna do it one at a time because that's annoying to me. And I'm just gonna just make sure that it's all the way in the water. And these is, it looks so good. I wish I could taste it, but not tasting uncooked pork not doing that i don't think you're supposed to eat pork uncooked do you comment down below no, some you eat it like Kathy. That. maybe some people eat pork you mm. know like that but um Kathy can't do that mm -mm. like china like you know in like china and stuff people they use but I, like i said I, I i got this gravy it's like a, a like a it's not like a thick gravy it's just like you know because i use the the broth i use chicken broth because i didn't have pork broth so i use chicken broth which is it still tastes good the baby tastes the broth and um oh, i bet she wonder why i call her my baby Bloody. she don't ever say anything to me about it so she must don't it must don't bother her I mean, people don't eat it raw. I think it's just like a certain temperature that you can eat it at. Okay, but that's well, raw. At this point in time, that steak, that 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 um roast, that pork roast was so freaking thick. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was so freaking thick that you know um it needed to be cut. That's why I decided. That's why I made up in my mind to cut it. Because we would be here all day cooking this. And I'm trying to eat because I'm hungry. And this is going to be so freaking good. It is. It's going to be so good. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. With these onions and bell peppers in it. Should have put some yellow ones in there too so they didn't go to waste. You know. Sometimes you just got to use what you got. So you don't, you know take it and it goes to waste okay so we got that in there and we're going to put the oven on another hour and when I come back it should be, be done. done you cut it it should cook faster now too now I are the beans this. done yeah I'm sure the beans are if they're not done they're almost done I just need to Pull this out some and let me just let you guys see how that looks down there. Okay. All right. Just wanted to bring you guys along with me. I wish I had a cameraman so they could just show you everything that I'm doing in the kitchen. But I haven't figured that part out yet. So once I figure out how to get my camera situated. And so you guys can see more of what I'm doing instead of more of me talking. Yeah, that's what I would like. But anyway, 
about to get these green beans on the rice is done get these green beans on and fry up these sausages real quick so i can put them in the green beans get my green beans done and get this cornbread done and then they're gonna be popping all right be back with y'all in a sec i got this from the warehouse yesterday when i was up there working at there i don't really work for them but i like to say i work for them because i get to run the cash register i use, i get to talk to customers i use, i get to tell them how many boxes of flooring they need for whatever they rooms they're doing i love to tell them what stuff is and i'll be like you know boosting it up bragging about it but it's the truth but anyway i got this and it says whipping up something wicked my baby say it's for halloween but i don't see that halloween anything on here Y'all see that? Do that look like Halloween to y'all? No? Yeah, I'm just telling you, the whole set, there's more. And well, it's like Halloween. You need to get me some then. If I can find it. No, I don't. Know. Okay, so the rice is done. It's got the butter in it. I didn't put any salt in it or anything like that. But I do got the butter in there. I'm going to set this off to the side back there. I got the countertop all cleaned off. I'm going to put my rice back where it belongs, and I'm about to get this green beans done. Happy All right, YouTube, this is the soup. I mean, not the soup, but the lima beans and the smoked turkey. Can you guys see all that goodness in there? They're not done, though. I can tell you that because um, I just tasted it, and I, I added some more onions and bell peppers to it and a little bit more seasoning because it needed it and now I'm about to put it on I got to put it on 40 minutes but I will be taking it out in about 20 minutes because I don't want them mushed okay I don't want them to come out like mush but it's it's gonna come out more like a soup which is perfectly fine because that's what I be hitting for anyway I be trying to get to that you know I be wanting to get to um, soup you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna go in here to get this cornbread out of the refrigerator wherever I put it at I was wondering what happened to all your packs of Dr. Pepper Uncle Daniel drank the rest of them so there's no more up there it was some he drank them last night it was like two or three more in the pack, but it's they gone now. Uh, are dresser. you sure they're not in my refrigerator? No, I looked in there. They're on his dresser empty. Okay. Now we don't have a problem because I'm tired of him drinking up my stuff. My stuff is my stuff. His stuff is his stuff. If you want extra stuff, certain stuff, buy it yourself. Don't take my stuff. I don't like that. Yeah, you I understand. thought you had a bunch of them though, cause I only no had... little Daniel he's drinking them and then no, how many upstairs? There's none upstairs. Anymore. No, how oh. many did, by, empty bottles? Like three in there. I so think? then he he took the last three bottles of it and he, anyway, YouTube, I'm gonna leave that part in here because I just want to ask you a question. When you buy stuff for yourself personally for you and somebody go in there and take it do you have the right to be mad or have an attitude about it okay because i literally buy every drop of anything to drink anything to eat i literally do that myself you understand and i don't appreciate nobody just going to get my stuff without my permission oh and let me show you guys this is the first time ever in my life that i have drank a uh, red bull taste kind of cit citrus got like a citrus type taste to it but anyway the greens i mean the beans did you taste them yeah i tasted them they was not done all the way mm -hmm. um they tasted it like i remember them being so i think papa right i added a little bit more seasoning so They'll, they'll be really good when they're done and the turkey is gonna just be falling off the bone so it'll just be turkey all through it so it'll be more like a soup you know what i'm saying so which is good because that's what i want with the cornbread so anyway speaking of cornbread about to make this jiffy muffin get it in the oven and we got still got 41 more minutes on there for the 
um, pork roast to make sure that it's done. Okay? So we ain't eat no raw pork, halfway raw pork. We want well done pork around this household. Be back with y'all this day. All right, YouTube, your girl, Mama Kathy, is back. I've been in this kitchen. It seems like I've been in this kitchen all day. I swear to God. It's like crazy. You know, it's hot up in here. We had these little babies on your head and all that. I'm about to give me some braids, y'all. I swear I'm about to give me some braids. Got an appointment tomorrow to get my nails done. I broke one. So, do we don't have to get this one soaked off. I already know that. My appointment is at 1 o'clock. Going to get my nails done. And made a mistake. Thought I was turning on the right eye. Did you know this new stove? And I turned the rice back on. Stuck a little bit on the bottom, but it's not burnt, so it's okay. And then the rest of it is puffy and fluffy. And um, everything else is coming along great. The beans are on. The beans actually got like about another 10 minutes because I put it on 40. Maybe I should just let it run the 40 minutes, you know? Just call it a day to make sure that they're done. Because when I tasted them, it was still like the outside of it was done, you know, around the sides of it. But the middle part, it was not done when I tasted it. So, but it did have a good flavor. But like I said, I did add some more. I added some more um, seasoning and some more broth to it. And so I'm sure it's going to be A1. I just put the cornbread in the oven. So that's going to take 20 minutes. We got the, um, got the stream beans and sausages over here. So get on over here and look and see what we done did. Okay. So this is, got some onions in here. Got some sausages in here. We got some um, onions green pepper i mean green beans not green peppers green beans onions green beans we got um some crushed red peppers in here and we got some um bob evans sausage links in here got about seven of them in here six cans of green beans and hey we gonna see what it hit for in a minute okay so yeah so that's that that's the rice back there and everything else is in the oven and we got the pressure cooker over here 27 minutes i'm just gonna let it just go ahead and shoot this course i'm home alone they ran out to the store alasia had a sweet tooth and she wanted them out and do and then go drink them all so we just like we just got to just look at you some and that's what she did papa took her so I'm about to go sit my black behind down for a couple seconds. And I will be back with you guys when all this is finally done. We got six minutes for the pot roast. 26 minutes for that. We got a good at least 20 minutes on this green beans. And the rice is done. Cornbread, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And dinner is done on a Sunday, okay? By this time, you guys should have my pepper steak video up. So even though today is Sunday, y'all won't get this video till tomorrow. Sorry. All right. Talk to y'all in a minute. See you in a sec. Okay, YouTube. The cornbread came out. Cut it up all up in squares. Mm -hmm. How is that? Mm -hmm. How is that? Mm -hmm. How is that? Like a thing around there. What do you mean? I don't know. It's just this. There we go. Cornbread now. The meat. So, now this here. And I'm going to take this out. Nana, why didn't you just ask me if it helped? I don't know why the last you have what I should have. You can put the oven back up. Use my whipping up something with it in the kitchen. Alright, ladies, you, you need to taste these green beans. 
See what they hit for on camera. To be honest, tell the truth. If I need to put something in it, let me know. All right. Okay, it's too damn hot. Like spicy? Like spicy hot. You gotta get a spoon or something. Um, you want me to try it with a spoon or a fork? I want you to try it with um, a spoon, probably. A spoon. Okay, so this is definitely done. My pork is done. Yes, it's done, 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 done. So now we just got to see what it tastes like. Yes, this pork is done, guys. So happy it's done. Two hours. That's exactly what it took. Two hours to cook. Ooh. All right. All right. I'll try it. You know it? Mm -hmm. Oh, those are, that is good, but it's super spicy. Is it super spicy? I like those, yeah. Oh, she likes those spicy spice. Okay, so here is the pork steak, and it is done. Got our little gravy going on, popping up in here. And this is done. It's not falling off the bone done, though. These, these are not falling off the bone done. Oh, this one is, though. This one. I don't know. I think I'm going to put them in the oven for another half an hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all just of them. Thing. No, just all of them. I mean, they're done. You know, they're tender when you stick through it. But I just want them to be, like, really, really, really super tender. So I think another half an hour... Should do the damn thing, y'all. Look at that. Should look good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that piece of that right there. All right, y'all. So the decision has been made. Is going back in the oven for a half hour, and then we gonna put a fork in it, and this shit is done for the day. And Mama Kathy can go sit her ass down. Okay. Be back with y'all in a half hour. Okay, YouTube. I am done cooking um, in this kitchen today. Um, use my whipping up something wicked in the kitchen. Yes, this is the 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 lima beans. Uh, I'm probably using the wrong type of spoon to be trying to show y'all this, you know. So let me just set that down there and um, just grab one of these and then just show y'all what these lima beans hitting for. Good, though. See what them lima beans? Them lima beans, yeah. And then we got us some smoked turkey in here. Mm hmm. With them onions and them bell peppers, yeah, they hitting for it. And here is what I wanted to show y'all right now. It is, and show you how tender it is now. It's real tender, real tender. See, that's what I like. That's what I wanted. I wanted it real tender. So I had to put it in there for an extra half an hour. Now everything is done. So that's the pork loin. That's that. That is the green pepper. I mean, green pepper. Those are the bell peppers with the um, onions and the sausage in there. And then this is, of course, just plain old white rice. Yes, so there. That is our Sunday dinner that you will see on a Monday. And I will plate when they're ready to eat. I will plate this and then I will show you guys 
what it hit for. All right, y'all. See y'all. Okay, y'all. This is the way I plated the food today. This is the lima beans with the smoked turkey. This is the pork loin. This is the rice, the green beans, and the cornbread. You see that? Mmm, 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 good. All right. Bye.